interesting, uh, some interesting new players for both sides, and we'll be looking forward to seeing them play. And then we're off. So, about to get underway, the umpire to throw it up as we have the first ruck contest, and Wale Buxton it is who gets the knockdown into the contest, and we'll have a second week ball up. Beautiful conditions, as we said, as we bring you this coverage today, afl.org.au, and of course, back into the contest again, McCoom was there, tried to get hands on it, couldn't do so, the ball comes out, it's a little bit untidy, there is McCoom, he's going to be a key player today, Robbie McCoom. A little bit of push and shove, but uh, we're going to get a bit of that, I'd say, early on. Cam Manuel out there in Jersey 1, of course, the uh, Chandler medalist. He's in the side uh, today. It's going to be very interesting to see how he goes. This is Vermont work it off halfback. Kick out wide, looking for a contest. It's Johns who has it. Johns goes inside 50 for the first right time, and the mark is taken. Terrific kick by Johns, and the mark has been taken. Who is that, Bray? Schneider. It's Schneider. Tommy Schneider. Tommy Schneider taking the mark. The ability of Lockie Johns to hit a target, you know, really regardless of whether it's 20 metres or 30 metres and give the opposition no chance whatsoever, that's what sets a class footballer aside. Yeah, brilliant play, wasn't it? As uh, Snyder lines up, you expect him to kick this, but uh, we don't want to put the mocker on him. Nice smooth approach. He'll be kicking from about 45. It's on its way. How does it look? Looks all right. Crowd behind the post like it, and it's gone through. So Tommy Snyder with the first goal, and it's Vermont by one straight kick. Here at the Vermont Recreation Reserve, as Steve White comes into the commentary. Thanks, uh, Brett. Uh, kicked 11 in 20 last year, did Tommy Schneider, and he's kicked his first for season 2018, and his first for Vermont for season 2018 against Baldwin here this afternoon. And we'll see what kind of response the Baldwin Footy Club will bring to this uh, opening salvo here from the Eagles as we restart in the centre. Just under two minutes played first quarter here between Vermont and Baldwin as the ball evades Manuel straight off the tackle and laying a tackle of his own is Whale Buxton and we'll have another ball up. Centre clearances are going to be vital for both sides this afternoon. So Michael went into the rack against Whale Buxton. Should be an interesting battle all afternoon. Socket off the ground now. Out towards the wing area is Wadley trying to get in there for Vermont. Trying to pick it up there is Goebbels on the half forward flank. He gets a hand pass out there looking for Wilson. It comes into the forward pocket. It evades a step number, number of players and picked up well off the bounce here by Aidan Kennedy. One of the new recruits for Baldwin this season. His kick out towards the half back flank and taken brilliantly there in front of us by Bain. And well, he, he spilled it straight away because he's given it straight to Ellis here for Vermont. He kicks straight in towards full forward. Plenty of players flying. And Paul comes down there here to Johns. Goes for his second and his first, excuse me. And well, he's just got the one point just to the left of the post. And that's just the minor score there for Vermont. 1-1-7. One, one, they lead Baldwin yet to score. Three minutes played first term. So Vermont looking pretty dangerous as they work it across off half back. The kick goes down towards the wing marked over there and I think it's bouncing towards the boundary line I don't think they'll keep that one in and they won't no in fact they do great hand pass comes back inside here's Vermin on the attack again going for their uh, third or fourth inside 50 down the line going back there for it was Whale Bucks and uh, not Whale Bucks and sorry it was uh, number 15 Tregear Tregear a little bit untidy over on that far side and in the end they can't work it out of there and the umpire says we will throw it in one of the things that Jamie got leads has got to do is he cannot afford to give Lockie Johns any sort of uh, any room to move or any or five yards because Johns will will kill you if he, if he's allowed to roam and all afternoon without any opposition. So the throw and I think it was Wale Bucks and he just got the tap there. He's going to have a field down the ruck today. Although Wynn is uh, quite highly regarded, Michael Wynn. So it'll be interesting to see how he goes. But it's a free kick in the moment. To he's a big unit too, Wynn. He is. Vermont with a free kick, so they'll once again launch inside 50. Particularly with the loss of Meeson in the off-season. Exactly, yeah, exactly. And no Rennie Watts either. Yeah. So, Vermont just chipping it around, trying to build something up. Here they come forward now. Going down, that's not a great kick, but it's nicely picked up. It looks like a hard volley, but the umpire's paid the mark. It must be my eyes. Really big pick up here, Joey Fisher from Box Hill this year. So, launched inside 50. Can they get a mark? Great well, mark. they do, but it was uh, a Baldwin player he got in there. I think it was Kennedy. Pendlebury. Uh, Pendlebury it was. Now they work it out. Baldwin, they, the Baldwin have an inside 50. I don't think they have yet, but uh, oh, that's a terrific tackle coming in there. A terrific tackle. And it's going to be a... Actually, yep. that might be Greenwood. I was yep. going to say number 67. I don't have my list, but... Uh, he was wearing 67. Uh, so Greenwood's in. Someone's out. We haven't worked that one out yet. So the kick goes back inside 50, going back there and almost taking the mark. 
but we've got a chopping of the arms, I think, and it's a free kick to Borland. It is. When I think took the mark. It was, yeah, Greenwood looks like he just put a bit of purple tape over that yellow and changed 67 into 61. Yeah. Calling the commentators as per usual as the <laughs> kick comes down. Now Borland trying to get it forward. Nice work there by Wilson. He's got a handball off, but there's no room over there, and it's taken across by Michael Buxton, and I tell you what, it's a bit willing over there. Whoa, whoa, the right in front of punches thrown here. Right in front of our boundary rider, Tim Fitzsimmons. Uh, Simons, at least. He's looking a bit worried, Timmy, and he's... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Look, he thinks he's going to get clocked. You're right there, Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> well, as uh, Tim Fitzsimons escapes unscathed, the ball goes upfield, and a kick... Now up there from Haley, and well, it was a shocking kick and picked up now here by Carey for Vermont. He swings one across the half-back flank, and Vermont will build from the back. Just under six minutes played here, first term. Vermont by 1-1-7. Baldwin yet to score here, and well, just slowing the pace down now are the Eagles, Brash. They are, and the, th the thing is, both sides still feel it, feeling each other out here. So a long kick up towards the half-back flank. Plenty of players flying. Great mark taken there by Pendlebury. And sporting uh, one of the more interesting haircuts this year as he kicks one eight towards full forward in the direction of Goebbels. Couldn't take the mark. The ball pops up and it's picked up. or well, looking to pick that up was Barker. And the ball comes straight back up to the half-back flank. Unable to take the mark there was Wen. Picked up by Pendlebury. Now here to Gottliebson. Shakes one, shakes two. Gets a handball over. A great tackle there. Wen dispossessed there by Colopy. And that goes over the boundary line for a boundary throw. Let's go cross boundary side to Tim Fitzsimons. Yeah, they did really well, Ball, and when they got that first inside 50, they set up really well defensively, and it t that forced a long kick, but unfortunately they couldn't get it back in there. Now Vermont can set up and go forward. So another clearance coming up. Is, uh, in fact, it was uh, good work there from uh, it was Ball that time that got the tap. Well, Buxton beaten to the front spot, but we'll have a secondary ball up because end of the contest. And it's well and truly uh, wrapped up in there. Vermont are really trying to push numbers at the contest. You know, right around the ground at er this early stage. So another head out for uh, Baldwin. Who's number 24, boys? I haven't got him on my list. For Baldwin? Yeah, oh, it's Wynn. Michael Wynn. Wynn. Oh, it's Wynn. Yeah, it is Sorry, yeah, you're right. Sorry. It is Michael Wynn. I have got him, but it's uh, knocked down again. Now they can come forward, Baldwin. They might have an inside 50 here. Can they get a mark? No, they can't. At the m it's taken, but it was already off Verm on a hand, so the mark not paid. And Vermont will have a chance to work it out. Good tackle coming in there. We've got just a kick off half back, so Vermont again coming forward. Down the line, nice mark taken, and they decide to switch it infield. Nicely taken there. And then they switch it right into the middle of the beautiful ground. A beautiful kick. kick. Superb kick, and the mark is taken coming uh, forward to meet it. Is Brett Eady, of course. Yep. Not initially named on the side, but he was a late inclusion. That was terrific play. I think Jake Bessmer might be out. I can't see him on the ground. Yeah, okay. I think you're right, Brash. Some more skullduggery from the coaches as Edie will be kicking from uh, probably about 45 if you take the angle into account. In fact, he kicked from outside 50. I thought he took that well inside, but that's off target. And it's gone through for a point as we hit boundary side with Tim Fitzsimons. Yeah, it's obviously it's not a long ground here at Vermont. So you can see what a quick kick out of defence does. If it hits a target, which it luckily did, they could turn it into a quick transition shot on goal. They'll be disappointed they didn't kick it, but it's good signs there for Vermont. And if uh, Jake Best is out of the lineup, that's a big loss there for Vermont. Leading goal kicker last year as Weatherold brings the footy back in. His, par, his kick of aids Greenwood. And it comes all the way back now. Hit into ball one tan through Aiden Kennedy. Pumps one M towards the half back line, but it's all Vermont. And they take the mark and they play on quickly. The kick now in towards full forward, but it's a uh, reverse of that situation. It's all ball one and taken now here by Chris Pendlebury. He swings one wide out into the back pocket and that's one is taken away there by Roach. He kicks one up towards the half-back line. Picked up by Churgwin now here for Baldwin. He gets a quick kick up towards centre wing and a good mark taken on the lead there by Bain. And he stops props and looks at his options upfield. Not much forthcoming as he kicks in towards full forward. Mark unable to be taken. Good play there by McCafferty. He's wrapped up there in a tackle and will have a ball up. Really good play in the game. The umpires are really letting it go and, and, and good on him because it's really good contest at the moment. His Angel lost the rock contest. The ball comes up to the 50 line. Here's Baldwin now with a kick in towards full forward. A Good mark. Luck. And a brilliant mark taken there by Luke Barker. And he'll go back for his first shot of the day for the Tigers. Oh, well, we won't be able to miss Luke today. He's got those lovely yeah, aggressive <laughs> green boots. <laughs>
Well, there's, there's, a, couple, there's well, a, there's a few all, of them out there. We had Chris Adakis last <laughs> week with his... Uh, well, we all know Luke, Luke is a very fam, flamboyant type of player, and he, he likes to make his presence felt. I'll tell you what, he was flamboyant last year against South Croydon late in the season, kicking six. Well, 13 goals last year did Luke Barker. He kicks, and he's kicked his first of the afternoon. That's the first for Baldwin, and they trail by two. It's 1-2-8, Vermont. Baldwin, one straight six here on the Benegar Max School Board, 10-15 played first quarter. The one thing you know, one thing you know about this game, in both sides' back line, if you make a turnover, you're going to get punished this afternoon because both sides uh, are going to hurt you if you don't deliver the ball for, uh, properly or, or incorrect disposal. So, back in the middle, it's going to be a tight contest. This one, just a two points in it early, Vermont, one, two, eight. Plays one goal as the uh, ball is thrown up in the middle, the knockdown, not anything close in. Can they get it out? It's going to come Vermont's way. It's picked up over there. It's wrapped up pretty tightly on the ground. And I think we'll have another ball up. So, as we mentioned before, perfect conditions here. It's almost summer-like. Looks like Bagler has gone into the rough now yeah, here for Bourne. And so, up it goes. Here's the tap down. Knocked down there by Anger. One of the new faces in this uh, Vermont side this year. Well, Vermont have really needed a chop out for Wale Buxton. And Anger could be that player this year. So up it goes again. This time it's falling for Vermont. Still a bit untidy. Nice work over there by Johns. Now they go inside 50. Vermont, can they get a mark? There's oh, that's a nice intercept over there taken. Oh. But then the uh, next Peter play, not better play, the next piece Alice of play, not out. so good. And Alice has snapped it through. That was a comedy of errors. It was a good mark initially, but then shocking uh, secondary play. That was a really good smother by Alice because he actually predicted where the ball was going, Brett, and he just ran across and affected the, st uh, the spoil and managed the ball managed to finish in his uh, in his area and he fought hard and just handed it off to Parker into an early goal. So Parker it was with the goal. So Vermont get their second. It's 2-2-14 against one straight on the Benigo Bank scoreboard. Had a great year to Adam Parker last year. And the best 10 times for the Eagles. 12 goals last year in 19 games and he's kicked his first of the year here for Vermont as they lead 2-2-14 to one straight six handball out now here from Lockie Johns the kick comes in towards the half forward flank now here for the Eagles and it might evade both players over the boundary line it does and we'll have a ball boundary throw in just in front of Tim Fitzsimons our boundary rider really like in the week of uh, Angar boys he started really well yeah uh, the pivotal addition this year as in comes the throw. We're trying to go out of midair. There was Manuel. A quick handball there by McCafferty. The kick coming in now. There from Caney. It's a high up and under. Dragiers back there. Affects the spoil and manages to win the ball out. Comes down now here to Ellis doing the roving. He gets caught. Gets a hand pass over the top. They're looking for Wallace. Wallace now turns around. Has a shot on goal. But uh, it's all Baldwin and that being all Pendlebury. And he gets a quick hand pass out now down in the back pocket here for the Tigers. The kick comes in towards the wing area one-on-one -on -one contest over the top attempting to affect that off to the races now is Bain who picked up a loose footy he spears this one in towards full forward I know that will gather that one in there was Barker and we'll have a boundary throw in that was really good use by of the body by Lockie Blaine uh, just sort of outmaneuvered young Brooke Caney into the contest to create an inside 50 for Baldwin so 13 and a half played here first quarter if you're listening on 98.1 Eastern FM or streaming around the globe efl.org.au Whale Buxton wins the tap. The, the ball looks like it's going to again traverse the boundary line despite the efforts there of Jurgwin. And we'll have another boundary throw in. Baldwin are making a conscientious effort to make sure that there's one punching from behind and one, one in front stealing Brett Eddy's leading space. I think we're going to see that right throughout this afternoon. So when it comes, I think it was uh, the tap from Whale Buxton. Knocks it down, but it's pretty scrappy in there. I doubt that'll come out, but it does. Just as I say that, can someone get a mark? Bouncing around in the middle of the ground, nicely picked up there. And here's an opportunity for Vermont, but they mark taken the center of the ground, I think, by one of the Vermont players. He's a terrific tackle. Really good pressure from both sides here. That's what I'm really liking. Both sides are really committed to the contest. And so we're gonna have a ball up, pretty much in the middle of the ground. Up it goes. The tap comes away, a ball in this time picked up there it's a bit of an untidy transfer going in there was uh, one of the ball win players goes right across towards the far side of the ground nice pick up over there that was terrific work I think it was Roach and the whistle's gone 
answer. The umpire sends it skyward once again. Whale well, Buxton getting in there, but it was nicely done there by Ball. And again, and again, it's pretty tight. Getting, he's going to have a few of these this afternoon, no doubt. Well, young Wallace has uh, provided plenty of uh, pace so far to start this game. Yeah, I believe he won the um, the medal last year for best and best on the ground in the grand, under 19 grand final. So he's well credentialed, young Paddy Wallace. So free kick over on the far side. So Baldwin can launch something off uh, half back. Trying to get something going. They decide to go down the line. It's a bit of a dusty kick, but the mark is taken over there. Just looking at rather go backwards to go forwards. Chipped across here, taken by Roach. And Roach goes backwards. Not a lot of opening in the forward. It's Pendlebury. That's Ryan Pendlebury. Finds a target. Just going nowhere at the moment. They sweep it across to Chris Pendlebury. Pendlebury kick tries to get on the outside. It's not a good kick. And that'll be cut off by, well, in fact, it should have been, but it's been taken nicely. I think it was Ellis. Gets a kick inside 50. Here's a chance for Vermont. Can they get hands on it? Going back there desperately trying to pick it up. It was Roach again. He's been quite prominent. And they go inside 50. Vermont diving on the ball, and I think that'll be well and truly wrapped up in there. And absolutely no chance of it coming at Baller. Bit of a comedy of errors there. Both sides could have taken possession and gone through the midfield either straight down to each other's forward line it just didn't bounce well for either side so 16 and a half gone here first term vermont still in front by eight points and we're going to have take two of that ball up so baglava versus whale buxton in the rock contest obviously just talking about young pat wallace to actually be playing in the first game in the seniors at vermont after under 19 years of real feather in his cap so Ball and get the kick up towards the half forward line. Oh. I'll drop what he should have taken there with Staples. Gets a hand passed out over. He was tackled. Caney now gets run down and well manages to get the ball. Oh, it's kept off just momentarily on the right side of the boundary line. We'll have a boundary throw in half forward flank here for Ball. Waiting for Staples to get tackled so I can say Staples has been pinned. <laughs> Don't <laughs> worry, there's still, Sorry, three, there's still three quarters <laughs> left. <laughs> As. Uh, Looks, he looks Staples looks good on paper anyway. Whale Buxton can pick hand pass out now. Was Greenwood was good. Get the kick swings out now here towards the center wing area and a foot waste between there. Weatherall and Parker <laughs> did well there, did Parker, but uh, Weatherall plies the tackle and Parker's going nowhere and the ball is going straight into the umpire's hands for a ball up. So approaching time on here in this first quarter, 17 and a half minutes played. Round one of the 2018 Eastern Footy League season. Here at Tarara Road as oh. Whale Buxton wins the tap over the head. Lockie Johns goes in hard, tries to get a hand pass out, as did Gilchrist. It's pumped forward there by Gottliebson, but not too far. It goes up towards the half forward flank. Good tackle applied there by Wadley, but I think it was in the back. Yep. And the Tigers with a free kick here about 70 from home. Just fell forward in the tackle there, Wadley. Was a good tackle, but just fell into it. And in comes the kick in towards full forward. A good fist over the top there from the Eagles. It falls right into the hands there of Cross. Picked up by Johns. He swings around. Gets a short kick out here to his teammate in Robbie McComb. And he's off to the race as well. A little held. Excuse me. That was uh, Tyson, that was Tyson Himes, Himes. Off the ball. Off the ball. Free kick now here to ball. And as the kick comes in towards full forward, unable to take the mark there is Barker. Loose footy on the deck. And looks like it's going to go over the boundary line despite the efforts there of McCafferty. And we'll have a boundary throw in. Believe it or not, both sides are actually paying due respect to their respective full forwards, making sure that there's two on each other, two two opponents on each full forward going when the ball comes into their forward 50. And so the umpire sends it up again. Tap. I think there's just one by ball and a little bit inconclusive, but it goes to the ground. McComb off half back. He's such a good player. Gets it down the line. Oh, good oh, that's a beautiful mark. mark taken over there. Shane Tregear. Shane Tregear takes that one out of the air. That's one of the better ones. It'll be a classic uh, contender for mark of the day. Yep. Now Tregear on the left boot. Sends it down the line. Can he hit a target? Nope. No, he can't. So he undoes a lot of the good work he did with the mark. And in the end, it's out of bounds on that far side. And we'll have a boundary throw. 19 minutes gone. And so Vermont by eight points. Well, the intensity of both sides is really hot. And you can understand why, Brett. And Steve, that they're making so many um, simple skill errors. Just early season stuff, I think, for us. Just a bit of rustiness, but I'm yep. sure that will uh, leave them as the game goes on. Well, Buxton got the tap. Going there looking for it was Johns. He's been prominent early, but uh, it's come out for uh, ball when they switch. Oh, great switch. Now, here's an opportunity. It's uh, Manuel, Emmanuel, should I say. Of course, the Roval recruit. 
good tackle made over there as uh, Vermont looked to work it out. Down the line, that's a good kick. Oh, going back with courage. Great week taking Purdy. Purdy gets a hand pass away. It's a bit of a dusty one, but they still in possession, Vermont. They go forward. Now they can go inside 50. Who's the target? It's going to be the next one that'll get it inside 50. Going to, that's not a great kick though. And in fact, it's out on the full. Just blazing away. Yeah, a bit of a wasted opportunity there. Should have been looking to kick the ball to the top of the square. So Pendlebury to bring the ball back in here for Bowen. Short kick in here, finds Roach. And he plays on quickly to the outside. A good kick finds his teammate in Cherwin. Halfback flank now here for Bowen as we are into time on here in this first quarter. Cherwin's kick up towards centre wing. One on one contest. The ball spills down now here to McCafferty. He was wrapped up in the tackle. And that's Goebel's applying the tackle and we'll have a ball up centre wing. Long time stalwart of the Bowen footy club, Jeff Goebel's. There's the right contest. Whale Buxton wins this one down and well look my may have been in the back but we'll have another ball up here centre wing not nah, free kick free kick it is we're in the back and Gilchrist is going to take it a uh, little too quick says the umpire uh, might be to Baldwin's advantage as they flood numbers forward uh, decides to go in short he finds his teammate here in O'Regan as he assesses options upfield not much on so he pumps a high one in towards the half forward flank unable to take the mark there was Whale Bucks and all win and the ball hits the deck and we'll have a, uh, another ball up. Just having a look at Rennie Gilchrist, he's really lightened off a little bit this year. He looks a very lift. Might have gone vegan. Here's, oh, yeah. <laughs> here's Wen, <laughs> wins the tap down. There's uh, plenty of players in there. McCroom's in there for Vermont. Greenwood gets wrapped up in the tackle but manages to try and get a kick away. The ball spills out over the boundary line and we'll have a boundary throw in just inside the 50 here for the Tigers. Gee, not an easy kick to be found out there at the moment, is there? No, it's uh, not much real estate to work with at all. As two minutes into time on, 22 minutes played here, first quarter. Wen goes up, loses the ruck there to Whale Buxton, getting the hands out there was Cross, a kick now in towards full forward, picked up here by Greenwood, well done by him, goes left foot up towards centre half forward, and a mark taken here by Vermont, they play on. Quick kick up now in towards centre half forward and a vacant forward flank. But then there is Eddie now for Vermont. Read it well. Eddie now off to the races down in the forward pocket. He centres the footy. Oh, oh, looking there for his teammate in and just couldn't uh, complete that play. Good Vermont, but uh, the ball were not out of danger yet as there's a loose footy in by hand. Picked up now here by oh. Kennedy. He gets wrapped up and by oh, <laughs> And the player <laughs> appeals there for holding the ball from the Vermont faithful. <laughs> And we'll have well, another. He didn't, he didn't really have much chance Absolutely. there. You've yeah. got to give him. you got to give him some chance <laughs> to get rid of it. One or two of the crowd not terribly happy about <laughs> this session as the tap comes down into the hands of McCoon. Oh, Robbie McCoon! McCoon's oh, kicked, he's got a try. A dribbly old kick. It wasn't a great kick at all. I thought it was. I thought it was going through from behind. No, it's not. As we watch the replay, McCoon just, just an opportunist goal, really. And I think Bowen would be a bit disappointed with that. Just looking at it really is, was I think Chris Pendlebury was back there and it just bounced straight past him and went through for a goal. So Vermont have their third. Three goals, two, 20, and they play uh, Bowen's one goal, uh, one goal, six on the Benny Gabbeck score. Brash, one thing that's really caught my eye has been Vermont's rebound off halfback. Very, very good this afternoon. It has been. I, I think, um, you know, that's probably something that they've had to work on during the off-season. Carey's a really important part of that, uh, of that uh, back line transition. Spent most of the year on as injured last year. Good to have him back. So back into the middle. As the uh, ball goes forward, it's ball and they could do with a late goal in this uh, quarter just to get themselves in touch. Well, you think it's still going to be close. Great week and nicely picked up and burst away is uh, number 23. That's, uh, can't even find number 23 on my list. My numbers are all over the place. <coughs> it's Vermont again. Trying to win the ball. That might have been dropped foot, dropped footy, but the umpire says no. I tell you what, it's pretty willing in there. There's some big tackles coming in all over the place. And it's a little bit scrappy, as you'd expect, for uh, the early part of the season. So sure, players chomping it a bit to yeah, get round one started. Uh, plenty of energy out there. As the ruck contest, oh, bursting through the pack. There was Colby, and he's touched. just put it wide. It was touched. It was touched. Excuse me. Got a little bit excited there, as we can see a big uh, light post in front of me. It's <laughs> yeah. about 30% of the view. Cut that down. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it will come down, I'm sure. It's 42. And, uh, well, we kick the ball at Prendlebury now out towards the halfback flank, and the quick comes out to the centre club at Vermont, intercept the ball. It comes in, a great kick. Oh, Purdy should drop what he should have taken. And trying to burst through that. Purdy gets a reprieve, gets the hand pass off, 
Uh, Kai up and under into the back pocket and going back with the flight. And a great mark taken here in the back, in the forward pocket here for the Eagles by Ellis. And he'll go back from about 45 on a 45 degree angle and he'll look for Vermont's fourth goal of the afternoon. Just needs to be careful here, Andy Ellis, because he every centimetre he keeps moving back. The ump umpire, Dan Beach, watch, watching him. So Ellis moving in for another scoring shot here for Vermont. Well, he shanked it all the way across the face. Plenty of players flying. No one able to take the mark, and we'll have a boundary throw in. That's happened with full, excuse me. Let's go down to Tim Fitzsimons' boundary side. Thanks, Tim, as Pendlebury brings up the halfback flank. Uh, spoil over the top there from Davis. And we'll have a boundary throw in this time. That 23 might have been 28, I reckon, Tommy Mass. Yeah, uh, Tommy Mass, 26. 26. Yeah. These numbers, I'll tell you, they do in my head. It's <laughs> 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 They might feel like every Tuesday night from the lotto numbers. Showing him well, Buxton gets the tap down. Yeah, his ball when getting something going this time. The kick to a one on one. Goes to ground. But Vermont win the contest at ground level again, and they again come forward. I think it was McCoon that got the kick away, but it's been cut off. And this ball when to go forward again. That's a nice kick, too. Finds its target. Wheeling around is Goebbels. Goebbels goes infield, but that'll be it. As the mark is taken. And the first quarter comes to an end. What an interesting quarter it's been. It's uh, Vermont with the noses in front. They lead 3-3, 21 to one goal, six. And Wayne Brasher, a pretty interesting first quarter. Yeah, very interesting first quarter. Brett, both sides, I think, were, you know, probably had the best. The, they probably broke even in the centre clearances. When uh, Baldwin moved, moved forward, Vermont were hell intent.